Well, a very good morning, everybody, for Tuesday, the 14th of July. So what have we got today? Well, we have had a sort of cold front go through overnight. And that is sort of clearing out to the east now. And it's sort of left of it sort of a bit of a, a sort of a damp air mass, a lot of moisture, a lot of cloud. But uh, with the heat of the sun, it is now starting to break up a little bit. And uh, we're going to see a little bit more sunshine than potentially first thought for today. So generally, area of high pressure out near the Azores, uh, bringing uh, just generally westerly winds. Front too far away, but no particular fronts that will affect us today until maybe tomorrow where we might see a weak warm front uh, bringing some more thicker cloud for Wednesday uh, before maybe it improves for Friday. So uh, yeah, generally westerly winds under the influence of um, from the high pressure, but locally to us, slightly lower pressure and the fronts have cleared. We can see that the fronts have cleared because if we look at the, at the rain radar, um, you can see more of the rain is going to be out to the west, uh, the east of us now. There are a few showers popping up here and again um, out to the west, and that may happen every so often but during the day. But nothing too significant in the way of rain, um, just a prob 30 chance of a shower at Lasham. Winds, um, as the uh, winds have gone around that high pressure, we're now starting to pick up a slight northwesterly. Um, nothing too significant, sort of 300, 310 uh, at about 10 knots. Um, but that obviously will be a bit more noticeable for the surface winds, which yesterday was more westerly, but today we're going to see a more northwesterly direction, but not too strong. And we can see on the public forecast, um, in, uh, let's, let's reload that. Uh, yeah, we can see on the public forecasts that uh, slight north north in the wind and the chance of a shower maybe 10, 11 o'clock. Uh, I mean, we'll just see that 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 might dry out. It might hit us. I said it's a prop 30 chance of rain. You never know when this happens. OK, uh, Sat's pick is showing quite lots of medium and low level clouds. Uh, that's to be expected. The front out to the east there. Um, it is thinning out, uh, but for most of the day, we're going to be seeing sort of any convection below uh, this uh, this top level stuff. The infrared is showing um, generally very similar, still uh, with the fronts nearby, uh, still lots of upper level cloud uh, dampening down the soaring conditions, but not stopping it entirely. Public forecast showing a temperature of 18. And that's broadly similar to what we see on the GFS uh, temperature model for today, maybe uh, 19 if we're lucky, just depends uh, how many of the holes appear in the cloud. Uh, but it might start feeling a bit humid, in which case um, and it might enhance the showers if we get too much heating. So we'll try and avoid that. Uh, dew points slightly higher than they were uh, a couple of days ago. Uh, we're looking at dew points sort of around single figures to double figures, sort of nines and tens with a dew point of about 18 degrees that's going to give us about a 3,000 foot cloud base. Okay at the moment we have uh, a temperature of 17 dew point of 13. Uh, there has been some low level cloud around. Uh, the METAR is sort of uh, showing no cloud detected for as usual Lashem was creating cloud uh, but mostly it's thin, thinning out now. It was sort of about a thousand feet the, uh, the lowest bits but uh, the actual ceiling as such is more of about sort of four or five thousand feet at the moment broken to overcast and we can see that on our satellite picture, uh, our, satellite picture our webcam picture here we can see uh, a quite thick top cover with some low level strat uh, sort of stratus uh, around. Soaring wise, uh, it's not a complete write off. Um, if, we look, if we look at that, um, not particularly uh, easy cross country conditions locally, uh, but maybe something down to the south, um, and maybe just a local 100k task or something like that. If we look starting at, let's say, midday, uh, as this low cloud burns off and the showers sort of dissipate, we should get cloud base here of about 3,000 feet above site. Not particularly getting any much better than that to 3,000 feet over a reasonable area to our south and, and, and northwest and west. Uh, cloud amounts, sort of that is showing uh, the uh, on here, you can see the low, uh, the sort of the quite built up uh, sort of cumulus congestus that is built up and generally for most of the day, sometimes slight bits of overdevelopment underneath top cover. Um, 
but again, nothing too significant, just uh, just not great for cross-country flying. Uh, and we can see on here that, uh, that sort of best bit of the day is probably going to be around lunchtime and sort of, sort of mid-levels for thermals, maybe some higher tops and a bit of spread out. There is an inversion higher up. Uh, but there will be climbs, northerly wind, it's not a bad direction for us and not too strong. So all in all weather picture, uh, tricky for cross country flying, but locally soarable and uh, the odd chance of a shower or overdevelopment. No time wise, a few to talk about today, uh, changed opening hours of Solent now, it's pretty much open all day uh, during the week. So just assume it's active now, uh, the no time's being removed. Um, so it's as per the AIP uh, now. Uh, so yeah, don't go in there without clearance. Uh, we have a parachuting display at uh, Binley. And Binley is just sort of, I'll bring that up. Uh, uh, Binley is just sort of south of uh, Highclere Castle. So, so yeah, Highclere Castle's up here and Binley is, is down here. Uh, so that NOTAM uh, is for parachute display at 6,700 feet. So basically the base controlled airspace there, three nautical mile radius between one and three local. Uh, what else do we have? Fairford active, I believe most of the day. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, pretty much all day for us. Fairford active, parachuting Little Risington. That's active for the day. Parachuting, is that 25? Uh, parachuting in Aylesbury um, uh, between eight and uh, and eight to night. Uh, that's three and mile radius again, up to 10,000 feet. I know the parachutists are moving around a little bit at the moment. Uh, that's parachuting jump, Little Risington is one of these cones, so um, the higher up they go, the wider it is, so the bit that we're interested in um, is the it's sort of the two and four nautical mile radius, uh, surface 2,000, 2,000 to 5,000. Uh, danger areas and the like at Boscombe Active um, and paragliding out to, to the northwest of Devizes, uh, potential gliding at Chilton Park. We'll just look at those ones for um, yeah, Boscombe Down and 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 D Bulford. They're normally active. Okay, uh, we're runway to seven today. Um, we are expecting a orange painted Airbus in at ten thirty or ten forty in from Liverpool. Uh, so not expecting any rush now to start winching operations. Uh, but um, if there's enough enthusiasm, we'll take a look and double check when it's coming in. Uh, but we will get the aerosol operation up and running uh, immediately, uh, potentially for the north side grass near 2-3. Uh, engine run on runway 05, very uh, low power idle engine run of a Boeing 757 on the 05 threshold, because it's very busy in 2XL at the moment, which we must see as a positive thing. Um, very, very low power, but it will be running up. Uh, on the 05 threshold, so don't get too close to that black 757. Um, nothing else relevant other than that for today. So yeah, just keep an eye out for that jet movement at 10.30. I'll let you know if there's any delays and a reasonably uh, busy day with training. I'll put the training list up right at the end of the briefing. Um, but other than that, I'll see you on the airfield. Bye for now.